Now, a lot of people know that I made a video of the Yamaha P125, which is basically a little bit of step down from the P515. Um, I love the P125. I absolutely loved it. I bought it. I had the stand plus the pedals, and then after that, I sold it because when I found out that I was going to get the P515, I had no use for the P125. Um, but don't get me wrong because I still love that digital piano. This right over here is uh, the top of the line of the P-Series and it has a lot of key feature. Why did I choose it? And um, I tell you this, why do I love it? So that's going to be even more what I'm going to be explaining. Now this video has the captioning basically unplugged, which definitely I have the keyboard hooked up to the wall, which is electric and also I have my sustain pedal hooked up to the keyboard. Well, the reason I said unplugged is because I don't have a sound system with me. I do not have an amplifier with me. So what you're going to hear is basically the internal speakers. What I'm going to do is I, I'm going to demonstrate the sound of how it is and then of course I'm going to alternate it for my liking. Before I turn on the keyboard, I wanted to show you, of course, you have 88 keys, but the keys are not like a regular digital piano. As you press a key, one of the naturals, you can actually see wood. This is kind of an NWX action, which is the natural wood escapement. So Yamaha upgraded from the P255 on the P515, the action. On top of that, you also have basically um, synthetic ebony and ivory touch keys. So when you're touching the ebonies, they have a texture, just like a real ebony. And same thing with the ivories, which Yamaha uses their ivory systems. But nice smooth action. And before even turning on the keyboard, it's not even noisy. It's not even noisy at all. As I turn on the power button, the screen illuminates. You have a beautiful, beautiful screen, very detailed, has a Yamaha logo, and of course the first instrument is the CFX Concert Grand. Now, as you can see, also the buttons have a blue LED. Once I turn off the keyboard, it's a very soft turn off. No harsh turn off that will actually harm the instrument. Now, let's check out the front panel. So, as you can see right over here, you have the USB to device, the power button, the master volume, the demo and song, record, play and pause. You have the metronome, rhythm, which is basically the drums and a bass line, tempo, function, and right here, this is the beautiful LCD screen right underneath the Yamaha logo. Plus right over here, you have the, your directions of um, which you wanna go, right, left, up and down. You have your exit button, piano room, which I will explain a little bit later. And also you have your categories. These are not just sounds, but these are also categories. So once you press the same instrument um, multiple times, you get into another piano, another electric piano, or whatever category that you're in. Others, as you can see, um, refers to mostly kind of like the strings, uh, guitars, the basses, and if you press function, and also you press others at the same time, you get the XG sound library, which is 480 XG sounds. Uh, you get the dual split, the sound boost EQ, the reverb, and on the bottom of it, you see it says panel lock. That's mostly for teaching. So if you just basically just want just a regular piano, turn it on, it locks the front panel. So your students can only focus on just piano. Also to mention the P115 has a 12 watt amplifier system, 
which um, includes a woofer and a tweeter, and also a uh, bass booster. So that's on both sides of the piano. Now another thing, I'm showing the digital piano just as it is. Uh, the digital piano actually comes with the power supply and it also comes with a sustain pedal, which is right here. And the sustain pedal is an FC4A, which looks like just like a piano pedal. Um, what's optional, you can get this matching wood stand, which is an L515. It's an attractive wood stand that will actually match with it. And also, what I'm going to be showing probably next week is the wood stand with the pedals, the matching three pedal unit, and that's called the LP1B. You can also get it in white, which is the LP1W. Now, we're also going to talk about the back connections, which is actually the back panel of the P115. So, as you can see, you have an auxiliary end jack, which is the mini jack. You have the auxiliary out, which is stereo left and right, quarter inch. You have the USB to host. You have the MIDI in, MIDI out. And over here, that's the auxiliary pedal. So, on this side over here, you also have the pedal unit. That's the triple pedal unit, which can be fitted with the, um, the Yamaha LP1B, which is the pedal unit. If you have the white version of this keyboard, it'll be the LP1W. And also you have the 16 volt power supply, which is actually included with the keyboard. Now on the P125 video, of course I unboxed it, of course I bought it brand new. I did the same thing with this, but I'm so sorry that I did not do the unboxing video. What I could tell you about this piano is that it's not light. It's not as light as the P125. The P125 had a smaller body it had lighter materials and also a smaller action. This, with the NWX action, is a little bit heavier. Uh, you're gonna definitely need two hands to carry this piano. Um, but I tell you this, for the weight of the piano and for the performance of this piano, it's like you're sitting at the real thing. Now here's the part that you all have been waiting for, for me to stop talking and for me to start playing because I want to show you the full potential of the P515, unplugged, with no sound system, just coming out of the speakers itself. Here we go. Enjoy the rest of the video.
there's hundreds of sounds on here. Basically, you have um, you have the panel sounds right up here, and they're in many different categories. So it's 40 different sounds on here. Plus, there's 480 XG voices on here. Uh, you can actually see those in other videos. I'm just gonna get to some of my favorite ones. Um, this over here, this is the electric pianos. Um, I just demonstrated the piano. So now here's the electric pianos. Here is a stage EP, just like a Fender Rhodes. modes over here you got the Yamaha DX7 which is that iconic which is by the way Yamaha first started that sound every other keyboard company tried to copy it even in the 80s they tried to copy it and Yamaha just always kept that traditional sound, uh, which is really cool. With that nice biting DX sound. We also have the uh, Wurlitzer. I just sold a Wurlitzer 200A, uh, but I sold it for like around $3,000, which is good. I got it for 40 bucks at a thrift store, and I don't miss it at all because it's built into it right over here. <laughs> soft EP. Basically you get the panning left and right from the speaker. I wish I had it. As I said, this is an unplugged video. So I'm not hooked up to a sound system at all, but you get that uh So um, if I was playing that same same look again. Great effects on here. Um, I don't know exactly how many effects on here because I haven't gotten too deep into this keyboard. I know that you can set your own EQ, you can set your own boost. This is not even on boost mode, everybody. What you're hearing is just the speakers alone, not hooked up to anything, unplugged, as I said. Um, bright DX. So, that's a lot of electric pianos. Tremolo. Ooh, yeah. Only imagine I just sold two of them you know I, I regret it but I love this kind of brings back the memory 